everybody and welcome to Mixed Media Friday. I know I've been a little bit absent for a little bit. I've been very, very busy with lots of uh, planning and tours and such, so forgive me. Uh, today what I'm going to do is I'm going to just create um, a really fun art journal. So I've gathered a whole bunch of different stencils from the Crafters Workshop and uh, some. Um, the top one is a Christy Tomlinson uh, doily stencil. It's not from the Crafters Workshop. And what I'm using is the new Mad Hatter set by Lindy Stamp Gang. And so I'm using practically all the colors except I think one or two um, of the set because they're a little bit of a lighter brown, which didn't really um, go with the uh, theme. But um, I'm just kind of moving the stencils around right now, as you can see, so that um, it covers as much as possible of the page. But when you overlap those stencils, they look so cool. There are some white spots and you'll find that your stencils uh, kind of have a ton of ink after you spray them so you can, you know, create a negative with them by just pressing them down on your page. And then I'm just adding a little bit more green because I noticed that it kind of got washed out a little bit. I didn't apply too much. So I'm just applying a little bit more, allowing them to run and have a lot of fun and just kind of mix together. And I dried it with a heat gun. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just grabbing a little bit of gesso and um, I just, I did this a little bit off camera, but I went ahead and just um, kind of washed it a little bit, as you can see, and then sprayed those little leaves. Now, this is a stencil that I got, I believe, a long time ago. You can get it at, at art supply stores. And I'm just applying some gesso and just very random circles throughout my page. And I'm just using my fingers. I'm not even using a brush. And I'm just creating circles. And I like using the gesso because it's a little bit transparent. It's not as heavy as just a regular um, white acrylic. So you can still see a little bit through it, which I really like. Next, I'm going to grab uh, Hansa Yellow Medium by Golden. And uh, this is a fluid acrylic. And I'm just going to apply the yellow on top of the circles. Sorry, I'm a little bit off frame there. And I'm not trying to cover the circles perfectly. Um, very randomly it's okay it's a mixed media piece so I don't really care too much this is one of my favorite stencils from the crafters workshop and what I'm doing is I'm just applying a little bit of heavy gesso instead of using the light the regular gesso I mean this is a little bit of a heavier gesso um, so it's almost like the same consistency as modeling paste um, but it does take a little bit longer to dry I find so um, and it is a little bit whiter than modeling paste so it just depends the kind of look that you want to go for and I'm applying it fairly thin. I'm not, I don't want a really thick layer. Like I said, I do want it to dry fairly quickly. So I'm trying to apply as little as possible. Now I'm going to take the Mad Hatter set in the Magicals instead of the sprays and some uh, gel medium in, and it's matte and it's by Liquitex. And I'm going to create three different piles. Now I'm going to be using uh, just three of the colors, the blue, the um, that teal green and then the purple and I'm gonna mix them with my knife until they're really blended and you'll find that if you use gel um, they'll be more of a true color if you were to mix them with modeling paste they'll be a little bit muted so I'm just using gel so that they're the true color look how beautiful that is really vibrant and then mixing those up and next I'm going to just, I'm just going to grab my peacock uh, feather stencil by the crafters workshop again and I'm just going to very randomly apply some of the gel and I want a kind of a three-tone effect on these um, feathers so that's what I'm doing is I kind of have the uh, palette knife or the palette beside me you guys can't see it it's off camera and I'm just randomly grabbing the three colors and applying them and just blending them together and it looks like a big old fat mass on top of the stencil until of course you lift it up and it reveals the really cool uh, feathers three-tone effect and I'm going to be doing that it's not awesome I'm going to be doing that on both sides so the same technique and here I'm not worrying too much about um, the blending. I almost want it to blend a little bit more. Look at that. Just gorgeous. 
And then of course you want to make sure that you dry it up with the heat gun. Here I applied a little bit of white um, in between the, the bottom feathers just because I found that the, it was a little bit dark. You'll see, I'll, I'll fix it up a little bit later, but I just wanted a little bit of a white shadow there. So I know it looks a little bit odd at first, but I just needed to clean it up a little bit. And then again, I'm grabbing my stencil because I just, it seemed a little bit off balance. So I needed to put another one right there and it just made it a little bit more balanced. And then I'm just grabbing the Mad Hatter Mint, which is the, the, the green that you had seen there that I had used or that teal. And I just wanted to give those feathers a little bit of shimmer. And so instead of applying it wet, I'm actually applying it dry. And I'm sorry, I'm off frame there. Didn't mean to be. I'm just giving it a little bit of shimmer and it toned the color down a little bit too. So it's not as dark, which I kind of wanted. Next, I'm going to grab Teal by Golden. And uh, I'm, I'm kind of going over the feathers with my fingers very lightly so it picks up those ridges. And it almost instantly starts to make that page pop. And applying a little bit to the edges as well. And something that you didn't see earlier, um, I did this off camera when I was playing, is I did apply a little bit of yellow and a little bit of the orange on the page. This is just a stencil. Um, I don't know where I got this from. I don't know if I had made this or if I had it, but anyway, um, you can make this with your silhouette and uh, it just says be who you want to be. And I'm just using uh, the new Tim Holtz distress paint and this is in the black soot. And then just with a um, journaling pen, I'm just going around the circles and uh, doing a little bit of doodling. And then last but not least, I'll just be taking my gelato, my black gelato and giving the circles a little bit of shading. So I hope you enjoyed yourself. And I know it's a pretty short Mixed Media Friday. Thank you so much for watching. And stay tuned for some photos in the end. Have a great day. Bye-bye.